Welcome to another edition of the Recruiting Scoop. I'm Jared Johnson. And boy, I tell you one thing. When Joey McGuire says something, you write it down. Write it down in blood. Because, look, I, I asked him on during the early period signing day, um, and then again on our one-on-one -on -one interview, like, you know, what are you what are you looking for? What position group do y'all really need to go after? Need to add to, you know, augment with this group that you're signing in the early period. And he didn't hesitate. He said offensive line. They got to get better at offensive line. They need to add more guys. And you know what? Since then, they picked up three commitments via the transfer portal. And the most latest is Michael Shanahan out of UT Martin. Uh, 6'5", almost 6'6", 310 pounds, was an uh, FCS All-American there, all-conference performer. And I know a lot of people be like, oh, FCS, you know, you know, should you do that? Well, I mean, I, again, I go back to the example of Josh Berger. I've said this before on one of these videos uh, and on the radio and <laughs> on the board. But uh, Berger, I mean, he was a two-year starter. He played every position for you, center all the way through tackle. He started a whole year at right tackle. Uh, did was better at guard and he was pretty dang good at center filling in for Dawson Dean uh, at least one game so I mean if you could get anything close to that out of Michael Shanahan then it'd be, it'll be a huge get but uh, I caught up with Michael he has two years to play uh, he's supposed to he told me um, he's got a couple of things of school to finish up but he's expected to be enrolled at Texas Tech by this Friday uh, and he'll be available for spring ball and that'll give Tech uh, four new scholarship, that's not even counting preferred walk-ons, but scholarship offense alignment to uh, you know go through spring ball and be be here all semester through the summer going into fall camp in, in the 2022 season. So that's really exciting. Um, that's three transfer guys and then Caden Weatherby, the high school um, early enrollee out of Colorado. So that's, they need that beef uh, Coach McGuire said, without a doubt, we got to get better in the trenches. And you can tell they've made a concerted effort to address not just the office line, but the defensive line. But this is about Shanahan. So, uh, I, you know, I asked him, I said, why did you choose Texas Tech? He actually just went on a visit to Oklahoma, an official visit to Oklahoma State this week. And he went to Texas Tech the, the previous weekend, but he went to Oklahoma State. And that eh, kind of made me kind of nervous because the old adage of whoever – uh, the recruit visits last usually gets the commitment. I mean, that holds true a lot, but uh, no, right after the visit to Oklahoma State, he announced his commitment to Texas Tech on Sunday. So this is what he said when I asked him, hey, why Texas Tech? He said, after taking all my visits, Lubbock felt like home and the best place for me with two years left to become the best student athlete I can be. I'm excited to play for such a great staff as well. Coach McGuire, Coach Hammy, the offensive line coach, Coach Kidley, the offensive coordinator, Coach Cochran, and every coach has reached out to me and, and did a 100 out of 10 job recruiting me and showing me that Texas Tech is home. So that's good. He told me um, also that, look, as far as right now, he's played tackle. The plan is to play tackle at Texas Tech, and that's where Coach Hammy wants him to play. So he also added that uh, – you know, he's willing to play wherever Texas Tech needs him to, you know, in order to win. That's what he wants to do. He wants to come to Texas Tech. He wants to win. And he wants to become a better player. Uh, you know, I mentioned some of the other guys. I want to tell you the other uh, transfers they have in. I know I've done videos and mentioned before, but Cade Briggs from New Mexico was a multi-year starter there. He was a high target by a lot of schools. That was a huge get. I expect him. Now, he's going to have to earn it. He's going to have to come compete. But I expect him to be your next starting center, replacing Dawson Deaton, who, of course, left uh, kind of early. I mean, he's still a year of eligibility because of COVID, but he's been here a while. He's played a lot of football at Texas Tech. Um, so it feels right that he's going to go try and test the waters uh, and try and, you know, fulfill his dream of becoming an NFL player, being drafted, uh, you know, by the NFL. Um, joining uh, Kate Briggs is Monroe Mills, actually transferred over from Oklahoma State. These are two big dudes. are both 300-plus. Um, I expect uh, Kate, uh, Monroe Mills to play tackle. Uh, that's, that's where he was looked at at Oklahoma State. He didn't play a whole lot of Oklahoma State, but uh, – Big dude. He was highly regarded uh, coming out of high school. So, and he's got several years of eligibility remaining. So, that's good. I mean, you're getting better up front. You know, I mentioned Caden Weatherby is also an early enrollee, but they also have Sheridan Wilson who signed with the early period. He'll be here uh, in the summer. Let's see here. Seth Martin at Everman's a guy. He was originally committed to TCU. He's known as kind of the uh, road grader inside. Off inside offense alignment or interior offense alignment type. So, I mean, I really like him. And then, and then Eric Gray out of Amarillo. He didn't sign in the early period, but he's still committed. Uh, he's still, from what I talked to him, is he 
he expected to play for Texas Tech? He says yes. He still is very pro-Tech and roots for Tech on Twitter and other social media. So, I mean, as of right now, I expect Eric Gray to still sign with Texas Tech uh, here in February and then be here uh, this summer. So we'll see how it plays out. But all in all, that's seven offensive linemen you've added this offseason, four who are going to be here, uh, three that are already here, uh, this spring, and then you add in uh, Shanahan, who will be here later this week. That's four that's going to be, you know, going through spring ball. Other guys to develop. Uh, I mean, Sheridan Wilson was a Under Armour All American. It's just you're bringing in a lot of size, a lot of talent, and uh, to me, offensive line really and defensive line is, is really a numbers game, just because it's just hard to evaluate if they're going to be able to, you know really do their thing at the, the collegiate level coming out of high school because you could dominate you'd play some bully ball against smaller guys or just not as talented guys and you get up here and you just never really adjust to the speed and the strength of the game so um you know i feel like michael shanahan is going to be a player uh and i can't wait to see how he does this spring there's one little side note and i don't know if it's going to really be applicable or not but it's definitely worth mentioning is that his little brother tj shannon uh, is a four-star 2023 recruit so that's something to think about because um, if you if it, they're a package deal, then it becomes more even more uh, valuable that they got Michael Shanahan. Um, I actually talked with TJ, who you know Michael came on an official visit as a transfer uh, two weekends ago. Uh, TJ, as his brother, was able to come along with him, um, and he said they, they obviously Michael loved the visit, as we see. TJ himself said he had a blast. It was so much fun that the whole family. Everybody there really enjoyed their time, and uh, that's definitely something to monitor is uh, T.J. Shanahan's recruitment and to see if he ends up being a Red Raider too because getting two offensive linemen like that and would, you know, will really help your, your team for the foreseeable future. Obviously, Michael for the next couple of years, he has two years left, and then T.J. moving forward is a four-star recruit and a talented guy. So good stuff all around. There's a lot going on, actually. Uh, you can find some uh, visitor reactions from the weekend also uh, on the board if you haven't seen it already. I posted it on, on Monday, so uh, a lot of recruiting going on. There's going to be more visitors this weekend, and then they have a huge Junior Day event um, the weekend of the 30th, I believe. So there's uh, a lot of recruiting, a lot of recruiting content on Inside the Red Raiders right now. That's not to mention even all the great work that, uh, you know, especially Austin Massey does in covering basketball recruiting and Joe Yeager's. Uh, awesome basketball coverage. Stephen Chapman's great photos. So, uh, of course, Kenny Romero does a great job tracking down Twitter, keeping you all up to date. You know exactly like right when it happens. So, uh, man, if you're not on the board right now, what are you doing? If you're a Red Raider fan, check it out because there's a lot of good content on there. But with that, I want to thank you for watching, and until next time.